former chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Maurice Iwo, is a professor of pharmacognosy. He says he has identified a possible treatment of the coronavirus. Professor Iwo says the COVID-19 virus is among the neglected tropical emergence diseases his research group has been studying for years. According to the professor who heads a bioscience institute, he has concluded arrangements with the antiviral program of the United Nations National Institute of Health to subject compounds from Nigerian plant against the virus. He will be joining us after the break for more on these effort to get local solutions to this global challenge. Stay with you. You're watching TVC News at 7. Earlier, we told you about uh, Professor Morris Iwo, a professor of pharmacognosy, who says he has identified possible treatment of the coronavirus. He joins us via Skype now from uh, Oweri, Enemo State. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7. Your name has popped up at different times, especially as has to do with natural cure for diseases. Talk about Ebola and now COVID-19. What progress has been recorded with the natural compounds you announced are active against coronavirus and SARS-CoV-2? Uh, thank you. Uh, we had uh, earlier on uh, about February uh, informed the Ministry of Health and the Science and Technology Minister that we have uh, that we have screened some compounds against coronavirus SARS, that is the severe acute respiratory syndrome virus which is actually a, a relation of the, or the one we are now uh, uh, dealing with. At that time, we are lucky three compounds from Nigerian plants were found active. And what we wanted to do then was to uh, test it specifically against uh, this coronavirus. And that was what we told the minister at the time. And, but luckily for us, the three compounds, two of them, the source plants, were already in a product that had been registered by NAVDAC. And all we are asking at that time that to be able to, be able to have it as a preventive measure is that that product should be developed fast and that we should be able to have it to save lives. We are, we are not kind of guessing because we, by the time we tested it in 2015, it was SARS coronavirus. And the plants that we are dealing with are very, very active antiviral. Regardless of all the physical measures we take, if you do not deploy antiviral agents, the replication of the virus will continue for, for a while. And the wave that continues, uh, the, the W-shaped curves that comes out, that is, it seems as if it's going after a while it comes out, almost like what happened with the flu, flu epidemic. Sometimes it comes and you think that it's gone away to come back again. Mm -hmm. I, I reckon that in 2015, the Chinese dealt with this same type of virus when it was SARS virus. The world didn't know much about it because it didn't infect other parts of the world. All right. You mentioned your interaction with the ministers of health and uh, technology, uh, science and technology. Now, what exactly has the federal government done now to ensure that your voice is heard? It is actually beyond the federal government, so to speak. It's actually a national cause. We seem to have, uh, we lack the will. We do not have confidence in ourselves. It's like an enclosure of the mind. Anything that, that, that doesn't come from outside Nigeria, we don't take it seriously. This particular compound we are talking about, I informed the ministers that 7,145 patients were treated by, with the source plan by the Chinese. And in a published report, all we did was to isolate the active compound responsible for it. Having isolated that active compound, it could have been the very first active masculine ingredient developed in this country. I didn't want it to seem as if we are trying to market something. Otherwise, I could have brought the, the plant material that we, that we developed to, to show to the, to the federal government. But we have done our bit. I'm only a scientist. All we did was to say that this is possible. This is what can be done. And what is also interesting, we filed a patent. Filing a patent means that you make it public. It is no longer in the private domain of Professor Morris. It is a public knowledge uh, issue here. So that All if right. Nigerian scientists want to do it, they can also investigate it on their own. All right. Uh, Professor Iwo, for any drug or vaccine to be accepted as a cure for any disease, it has to go through clinical trials. What effort are you making to see that your vaccine or cure goes through clinical trials? Yeah, we have a group of scientists uh, uh, led by a vice chancellor of one, of one of the federal universities. He has talked with his colleague medical doctors. They have filed a, 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 an application with the, with the, with the Pan-African uh, Patent registry, uh, non register not patent registry, clinical trial registry. They have already approved it for clinical trial. But this is a major pandemic. 
it has to be beyond the reach of Professor Wood to be. I'm not a medical doctor. I am a pharmacognosis. We have to have people who show enough sufficient interest to be able to even have it to test. Now the doctors are asking for ethical clearance and so on. But if the Ministry of Health are taking it as their baby, these things can be fast tracked. And as I said, the product already has a NAVDAC number. So it is a product that is already listed in NAVDAC as a phytomedicine. But the pure compound from it is what we are trying to develop as a, as a drug. And uh, what is also interesting is that it is not uh, an entirely new compound. It's a well-researched compound that everything to do with this toxicity, its bioavailability, mode of action is well known. So it is kind of uh, mind-boggling that nobody has even gone to the patent office to search to see what is it that these people are talking about. Nobody uh, has even checked the literature. What kind of country is this? Is this people that just people just wait until only things that come from America and, uh, and Europe before well, Professor, you can take it? Let's look at another thing now. Uh, chloroquine has been in the news. It is one drug that is not new, but now yes, it's sir. been approved for clinical trials in different parts of the world. What yes, really sir. are the possibilities that it could be one of the cures of COVID-19? Very good, very, very possible because uh, chloroquine, by the time we also testing compound for Ebola, chloroquine incidentally was also active against Ebola virus. Chloroquine, apart from its activity, also the angle that they are looking at is not actually its antiviral property, but the fact that it is able to prevent a trick that the virus plays, namely disassociating the, the oxygen from the hemoglobin and playing a trick with the DNA. And that is what, uh, what chloroquine also does, that it competes favorably with the virus and be able to this. this, this this, 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 uh, this or, or organizing from one major activity that I thought, namely denying the blood of oxygen. And that is what the scientists who are working on chloroquine are doing. Repurposing a drug is not as difficult as making a brand new product. What we are asking for here is a repurposing of drug. Incidentally, as I said, we have a tea that is sold in Nigeria that contains two of the compounds that we tested that are still available tea today. So it is, we are not even asking for something that has not been tested on human beings we have sold this since 2016. The product is still available. Those who know, know. And people are saying, I take it myself twice a day because I don't want to die too early. All right. Well, from your research now, are we looking at getting all of these compounds locally here or imported, at least to put Nigeria uh, in the spotlight the world over? Yes. We, the, uh, the challenge we are facing to start with because of the sheer size of the kind of thing I want to do, uh, because it has to be something that is uh, that is statistically valid, and so, so it has to be double-blinded. We also have to have controls and all that. Uh, the raw materials for them is what we are trying to accumulate presently, because we are doing it the standard, standardized method of doing it. Why this is going on? There's nothing that stops people from take that, taking taking into in, into action the product that is already there in the marketplace. Just like chloroquine, this thing can be repurposed and then be used for this purpose and save lives. We are talking about people dropping dead almost on every every day on a daily basis. So we are not even talking about the finis of whether the 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 the, the, the study is uh, double blinded or not. So there are two aspects of it. We have a fight of medicine that is already in the market. They will have the pure compound which we are developing, and that is what we are we are asking. Not even the help in terms of money. We are talking in terms of making the process easier so that people can be able to, uh, to, to do work on, on, uh, on a soil product. But there has to be, as I said, it's not to do with government per se. It is us as a collective. There's a mindset in our country that only when it is foreign, when it is from outside, that we reckon, we reckon that it is something worth looking into. But as it is, there's been increased calls for local solutions, for uh, local uh, solutions to this uh, global problem so that we can all move forward. Professor yeah, from Akogosi, University of Nigeria, and Suka, Professor Morris, he will join us from Owiris. Thank you for talking to us.